too many uh, and the impacts uh, have the potential to be detrimental to the long-term health of the industry. And, and it's our, our job and, and my job to protect the, long, the current and long-term uh, health of the industry, which is so important to the local economy. Well, Lord Derby is an ancestor of the man who gave his name to the famous Racehorse Classic. In a statement, he says that his scheme would provide a lot more affordable... What happened? Walter fell asleep at the wheel. What's that? Good. Let the Klingons and the Earthmen offer us amusement. Capellans welcomed it. They need support from some experts in chin behaviour. We've been told more so-called garden communities. The plans are in the very early stages, but three possible sites have already been earmarked, one at West Colt. More on the tendering culture to border for 9,000. It is the brainchild of four councils across Essex who are bidding for money from central government to fund the scheme. We think it's vital that local authorities actually plan the developments, and it's not just left to uh, builders and speculators to do that. We want proper communities built for the future with most importantly the infrastructure in at the beginning. Thank you for joining the Anglia team for the local news this evening. Plenty still to come. Yeah, in fact we've got important news for you from both Ipswich and Norwich, plus this. We're on the water with a little boat that's carrying on the age-old tradition of trading on the region's rivers. And I'll be here with the weather. Find out what's in store later in the programme. But before that, all this week, we are marking Mental Health Awareness Week by looking at issues that affect different generations. Well, yesterday, we reported on concerns over the mental health of school children. Today, it's the so-called gaming generation. Figures suggest one in a hundred people living in England. This is Senua, a Celtic warrior. Her lover was killed in a Viking invasion, so she's on a quest to find his soul. The trauma has led her to develop psychosis. Now she sees visions and hears voices. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. Senua was dreamt up here at Ninja Theory in Cambridge. She's a protagonist in a new computer game called Hellblade. The character is, of course, make-believe. And you could get your money in minutes. LendingStream have a five-star trust pilot rating and are recommended by 94% of customers. I know what I'd do if I was in a bit of a tight spot. Apply now at lendingstream.co.uk. Representative 1325% APR. Do you actually come from where you think you come from? With an Ancestry DNA kit, it's easy to find out. Anyway. Sorry to that. For once, other people can see or hear what they what they are experiencing. Rachel Waddington is one of those people. She began seeing visions when she was just seven years old. Now, more than 30 years on, she lives with visions and voices every day. It was really important to me that... sort of technology, whether games or virtual reality, could useful, usefully be applied in my work. So, for example, either in medical education or, or beyond that, even in, in therapeutic approaches to patients with mental illness. The aim of the game is simple enjoyment. The hope is this alternative reality will change perception. series of mental health reports will reach parenthood. We'll hear from a mother about her experience of postnatal depression. In the meantime, for information about where to